came out in the sea and I bought a bear. So I bought a bear for my girlfriend and today is my day to look after him. So I am taking him to a car show. Now this video is brought to you by carhuddle.com, the free online car show directory. And today's car show is the Winchester Autobahn, which is conveniently held in Winchester. Now I've never been before, no idea what it's going to be like, and it's very drizzly in the air, which never happens in this country, never happens. But I'm on my way to Winchester, but en route I will be meeting a certain someone in a certain car that you may have not seen before. He is currently waiting, tracking me on my little kind of geo-tagging software, and he knows exactly where I am right now, so he is stalking me right now, I have no idea where he is. He's just gonna come and find me at some point. I believe he's got a passenger to hold the phone and everything. And uh, yeah, we will meet up and cruise along to this classic car show in not classics. But I will catch up with you once I've found him. Now, I know I need to be on the lookout now. I'm just approaching a motorway and that is where I'm going to meet this said person. Ooh, a very damaged BMW. Looks like that's that plane and police following it. Maybe he was drifting. Right, I need to stay in the slow lane. Why is it so wet? Urgh. Oh, I've spotted someone. Okay, so we've got an Abarth 124 Spider. That's not the car. There's the Abarth, very nice. Behind the Abarth. Oh my God. Hello. There it goes, I can't hear it. No, it's got an exhaust, but that is a Mark 1 MX-5. And that's driven by a certain friend of mine. That is Mr. GT6 Ollie. That's his new daily car. Ladies and gentlemen. But I guess it's gonna be a bit of a boring journey now, so I'll catch up with you once we're at the wet and miserable show. Right, so apparently we are close. Are you excited, bear? We appear to be in the middle of nowhere, so I think traffic won't be a problem today. Very straight roads. Very straight Roman roads on a cold, miserable day of December. Um, are we here? We are an hour late, so that's standard for me. This looks like a collection. An assortment of cars ahead. Hello, good You're morning. Right with it. Just straight on the end behind this Persian. So, Mr. Bear is having a lovely time in the warmth whilst we're out in the cold. Let's have a look at Ollie's new MX-5 with his halos that he's put in. Hello! Hello. Um, it is an import, Mark 1. He has recently purchased this lovely hardtop. Quite a good match, I reckon. Can't really see that well in the wet. Um, it's got some red interior. Have a look at the red interior. It's been refurbished at one point in its life. He's got this quick release. Oops. It's got a quick release steering wheel <laughs> and lots of shiny bits. The previous owner likes liked the shine. All fire extinguisher. And oh, we are in a bumpy field. Shine, more shiny. And Unos and badges and Roadster and Mazda. Whereas my car has poo on it. Oh, look at that one. That's proper curled up there. <laughs> so the cars are in there. Should we have a look? So are we going to start with some Golfs, a GTI and a TDI? Um, there's a 996 Pro 4S, a F-Type V6S, ah, a Dacia Duster. Um, all the variety today. Z3, another Alpina, this one is a B10. I think all the pedestrians are inside. Very custom Mini, Cooper S, with whatever that means on it. Let's not discount this Honda that's for sale. It's for sale, everyone. And buy a Del Sol for £900 now. Yeah. Dirt. Everything's misting up. It's got some tints and some paint to delete. Take a look at this 390 SE, which stands for Special Edition? I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna hazard a guess. So mine was a 350i, this is a 390 SE, so it has the 3.9 litre Rover V8 as opposed to my 3.5 I had. Comes with an oil leak, that's as standard. Same wheels as mine, the OZ wheels, wherever they are. Oh, memories and a crack in the bumper, a bit like me. Oh, I do miss mine. The SEs also have these 
chunky weird bumper things on them. Got a, is that a Miami Blue 901 generation? Porsche 911. Got a Jaguar E-Type Series 1 hard top, Ferrari F430 Spider and a TVR Tuscan. I was about to say how much I love TVRs but you could probably already figure that out. F-Type and a Rolls Royce. Mongolia. Mongolia. I don't speak Mongolian. This is a very old Morgan. And it used to be red. Oh, 1.9 Peugeot 205 GTI next to a 911 Turbo S. I think we should go inside because it's wet. But first, a wrapped 370 Z. I'm not the only Z here today. Oh, is that a Muir? Oh, I did not expect that. Wow, is that an A200? Guys, there's an A200 on the ramp. Forget the Muir. 47 and a half from Mark 1, Mexico. I want every engine base to look like that of mine. Is that a 275 GCB? Open trumpets. This used to belong to Eric Clapton. It is the longer wheelbase 275 GCB. Absolutely lovely. No! It's another Mexico, Mexico. In the corner we've got this marvellous 280 Mercedes Benz convertible for the summer, which it isn't today. Oh my god. That is a mirror. Who doesn't like a mirror? I think it would be rude not to look at the engine bay. Ugh. Ollie, it's clean. It's very clean. That is a transverse V12. Wow. So beyond the piece of porn, we've got a 3 piece of CSL. Underneath a 911. You'd have to be absolutely confident that this Porsche does not leak oil because bonnet. Likewise, you've got this gorgeous DB5. Looks just as pristine as the mirror. Mmm, lovely. So take a look at this A-Class Mint Concourse. Complimentary scrapage. Oh, an awesome spider. That's a bit of me. With the ridiculous wing on the back. Yes, that would suit me. That would suit me rather well. Look at this Citroen serving bacon butties. Right, we're back outside and there's a Ram. It's a Viper V10 in that car. Why do we do this? It's so wet. But we have seen a Mura. Oh, a 408. Little bit random. Sounds quite nice. Um, Audi TC. Alpha Spider, Landy, 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 Landy. I still hear that 488. Um, so we got a CLS. This one's a grand edition 280 SL, a 5 litre Mustang. We will be watching out for this one because we are crowds today. Oh, that's where he's hit a poor pedestrian. And what else we got? We've got another Mercedes. Oh, this is the MGC with this straight six, meaning it needs a bulge to continue the longitude of the engine because the bonnet did not accommodate the straight six. They were known as being a little bit lazy, but they were more powerful, faster top speed, but I don't know, they're cool. And we've got more cars inside. I'm gonna go out the way and, oh look, an MGF. Right, we've got a Capri, an eight series, our Morris Minor van. It's Morris Mini Moke. When it's summer. When it's summer, we should get one. Yes. What? Yes. Yes. Landy. Austin Healy 3000, these have shot up in value. Oh, oh, I love classic memorabilia. This is a bit of me. Lion's Tea, I'm Adam C. Look at all these classic signs and camp coffee. Right, back outside, there's a Fiesta XR2. Not much else, a bath, and a Mini Cooper with the wide arches. And if we do a bit of car spotting, there's not gonna be, ooh. Lovely, 7 Series, darling. Mmm, how fabulous. Right, I've just heard the TVR wedge start up, so we're gonna get a little departure video of that TVR, but I can't imagine much more because there's not a lot of cars here. Okay, it's not the wedge yet. Watch the man in his... Jagged of heart. Oh, Morgan. That
that sounds like familiar sounds. TV went the wrong way. No. Bye bye. This guy's gonna do some sounds. Let's hear these sounds. Turbo is doing some turbo. Rapid, whatever the weather. <laughs> right, so I'm back into the MX-5 with all the steering wheel and chrome and it's lovely. This is the reason I didn't get an MX-5 because I knew I wouldn't get one as good as this. I feel proud. We're just going to decide what to do. Uh, I'll probably catch up with you once we know. Might be later today, might be tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Right, now Ollie and I had a discussion and we decided because it's a miserable day, there's a rainbow over there. Um, there's not really much point doing much else, so we've both gone our separate ways. So I'm going home with the bear, and I really do hope you enjoyed the video regardless of the weather. The turnout was pretty decent, and that mirror was absolutely stunning. I have seen that car before, and it used to be owned by Rod Stewart. So there's a fun fact for you. But uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram for weekly lists of all these kind of events. But for now, thanks for watching.